Today I am going on another road trip. There is some work I have to do whilst I'm there, but this is the perfect opportunity for me to try out a new gadget that I picked up yesterday. These. Now I said I have to make a quick stop for work whilst I'm over here, and that is to deliver something. The thing I'm delivering is a crystal. And it's plastic. It's the weirdest thing. I don't know why. Typically I wouldn't bother doing this. This is not worth anything. But since I wanted to come here anyway, I figured let's just drop it off. But there is many shops I want to visit today. There is two food places I want to visit today. One immediately because I'm hungry. And I'll try and see some of the sights again too. Because it's a glorious day. It would be a shame to waste it just sitting in a shop. And I just realised with all the tech and stuff that I bought that I really don't need and probably won't use, I forgot to bring my wallet. Cool. Cool. And it would appear I have too much to carry with the crystal to put it in my pocket. So I'm gonna have to wear a hoodie just to get more pockets. It's a hard life. Also, I'm recording all these clips on three different cameras today. So editing this human, I know, working out what order they go in. But that guy just pulled up next to me in an EV. Clearly didn't charge either, so maybe people are getting better. Anyway, first stop is to get a snack and a drink. Oh yeah, baby, you know its place. Dunkin' Donuts time. Hell yeah, let's do it. <laughs> My god, look at all these. Oh, wow. It's gotta be Rocky Road. And let's get a nice iced latte with skimmed milk. And let's get some vanilla in that bad boy. God, these look so freaking good. <laughs> the Rainbow Monster. Love that guy. There we go. Baby, Thank thanks so much. much. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> Your beauty. Oh, amazing. Now, normally I would have eaten it right there in the cafe, but of course I remember I forgot something, didn't I? I didn't bring the clip for my phone to be a little stand, so I'd have had to do it with three arms, and I wasn't going to do that. So I'm back at the car, pick up the thing, and now I'm going to eat my damn donut. Oh, but look how good this looks. It is such a good looking donut, my god. And inside, it's filled with chocolate too. Oh, so good. It's actually quite nice out here looking at this view of the Liverpool skyline whilst eating my donut and drinking a drink. This is pretty chill. I'm enjoying this. Okay, so first off, I've got to make this crystal delivery. <sighs> Delicious. God, this weather is gorgeous. So nice today. I think being out of Liverpool for so long has made me forget what it was like being here. It is so busy and so loud. But it is a pretty city. Look at this place. But now that my work delivery is done, it's time to check out some shops. Starting with the shop, Worlds Apart. Stumble guy's a legit thing. I figured it was a knockoff. There's bloody tons of it. Look at this. I thought it was a crappy little phone app or something. <laughs> the ultimate telepathic ET. Yep, he's the telepath. Weirdly enough, I actually ended up buying something from there too. It was a gift for peeps, so I'll have to cut that bit out of the video. It's weird, I was here like every day basically for three and a half years, but now I feel like an actual tourist and I can just enjoy it for the sights and scenery that it is. It's very different, it's cool, but still smells like weed. But luckily, I got a bag at that shop because I can put my jacket in here now because it is so warm. But it wouldn't be a trip to the city without a visit to Cashies now, would it? Gotta look in here. That 
was fairly anticlimactic, but that PSP price was pretty decent. I'm pretty sure they tend to sell for about £100, and they're selling for £45, so that's, that's quite tempting actually, but I don't need one, because I've already got two. But look how pretty this place is. Absolutely gorgeous. I've not been to this part of Liverpool ever before, except for Christmas, when they do a Christmas market, and this whole area has like stalls selling hot dogs and burgers, and little knickknacks and things. It's, it's really cute actually. We'll come in this year for sure, so look out for that, but... I've never seen it in the daylight, never mind not at Christmas, so this is really cool. As I was filming just then, a guy just stopped me and says, Hey mate, did you ever wonder how they built this without power tools? I'm like, yeah, it's crazy, isn't it mate? He's having a good day. If I'd been smart, I'd have pressed record on my glasses and had the whole thing captured, but I forgot. So these are clearly going well. I also got a press record on the camera on my chest too and forgot about that as well, so doing really well today. I do love the weird mix of architecture in this place though. Like there's some modern stuff over here, and some like fake modern stuff over here. Like, look how bonkers that, like, whatever that building is. It's crazy. It's like what I imagined the future to be like from the 80s, and now it's a Greg's. So, cool. But the weather is still holding up gloriously. Look at this beautiful sky. It's, it's, it's just magnificent. This building behind me now is a theatre, I believe. It's cool looking right over here. And I saw a comedian play live there once, and it was really good. Do comedians play or perform or just tour? What's the word for it? I don't know. Now I'm about to go on the main sort of shopping high street of the city and there's always buskers and I can hear someone singing already, so that could be fun. But this street is always just so busy. I normally have headphones in to block out people like that guy over there with a dinosaur talking about Jesus. But today just recording and being a tourist has kept my brain active enough to not need music, so... That's positive, I guess. All kinds of people. But can't come to Liverpool and Cashies without going to CEX, can we? You've got to check it out. That is so sick. My God, that is bonkers. But this is very familiar. I used to work right around here, so I'd be down these steps all the time. I'm somewhat nostalgic. But I've kind of been everywhere that I wanted to go already, and it's like barely midday. The last stop I need to do is to get some food, but I'm not at all hungry for that donut. So what I'm probably going to do is get the food I was going to get, then I'll go home and warm it back up again, and eat it in the garden. You better believe it's chopsticks. Can I have a medium noodles, please? Can I have the caramel drizzle and barbecue, please? That's okay. Thanks so much. Have a great day. I may not be hungry, but I am very excited. I will have a quick pop in the lush though, because the one here is the biggest in the world? Country? I'm not sure, but it's friggin' enormous and it's worth seeing. Well, it is Liverpool. <laughs> How sick is this? They do lush parties and there's a whole other floor upstairs for treatment and things. It's bonkers. They are really embracing the whole Turtles collaboration, aren't they? This is just like a stand to display stuff. It's not even a real cafe. It's mental. This place is very much not for me, but I can appreciate how friggin' cool it is. But there we are, back at the car already. 
much shorter day than I thought it was going to be, to be perfectly honest. But I've run out of things I wanted to do, so why wait, right? But I've got some noodles for later, and I got a gift for the police for her birthday, so that's a win, isn't it? But yeah, I've been filming with so many different cameras, like three different cameras at the same time sometimes. This is going to be an absolute nightmare to edit. So if you are watching this video right now, just know that this nearly didn't happen. So while I'm driving home, I'm going to set up these guys to be copying the video files to this. I'm going to set up... Wait, where is it? Ah, oh, shit. Forgot this guy. I'm going to set up these video files to be copying to this. And then I'm going to merge them all together on here and edit it and hopefully have a video. But I guess we'll see. Now, will this place let me out? And how much will they charge me? £3.90. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Well, that's decent. I wasn't even there for the full time. They'll charge me either by video or £6. So, result. And tolls on the way back where I still don't have any 10p, so I'm paying 10p extra than I should do. Scandalous. Chuck them in there and dubs are good. It is kind of gross that I've been in the car for almost half an hour already and I've still got 49 minutes left on the drive. This is why I left that job. The commute was just such a pain in the ass. Oh god, the numbers have gone red. That's not a good thing. It's taking forever to get back. So not only are we now in quite heavy traffic, but there's a friggin' house on the road. Uh, this isn't a traffic jam, this is a building jam? I don't... <laughs> but at least it's nice and sunny. And 28 degrees! That is bonkers though, isn't it? The fact that you can just drive a house around on the motorway. How is that happening? Oh, I'm home and I've got my hot nudes reheated, so I'm very excited for this. Let's see what they hold. Come on, show me the chicken and the nudes. Oh, oh God, look at that. Oh, it looks so friggin' good. Oh, there we go. We've got uh, caramel glaze or honey glaze, I forget what it's called, and sweet and sour. Oh, it's the best. It's so good. Just look how good this looks. Oh, yes. Give me some of that honey chicken. Oh. Mmm. Oh, my. Wow. It's so good. Oh good, but I did say I was going to sit outside and eat this in the sun, and I'd love to do that, but I've changed my mind about what I'm going to do today. So I've been going through the video files I've recorded so far today, and trying to get them all in one place, and it's going to be a mess. So I'm probably going to do that a little bit, and just try to prepare the project file for the video right here, right now, whilst I'm in my nudes. And then, to make up for the fact that I'm not going to be sat outside in the sun, I'm going to actually make the most of this sun, and leave the house again. And I think that will be enough to make its own video. So I'm going to actually end this video off here today. A bit weird ending a video at two in the afternoon. I wasn't eating some noodles, but what the hell. I hope you enjoyed my trip to Liverpool, however brief it was, and my experimentation with tech. I will find out shortly if it was worth all the hassle with the editing or not, but who knows. If you've got any advice about how to use these devices a bit better, or how to make these videos a bit more entertaining, or fun effects, or whatever, please let me know in the comments. But the next video, if it goes to plan, I will go somewhere really chill, really sunny, really cool. Hopefully quiet. It is the afternoon on a Friday, so I don't know. And I'll talk more about the future of this channel and why Peeves isn't here. But thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you all later.